So I wanted to do a video on some tips and things that I kind of wish I would have known when I first started playing this game. So I'm gonna go over some of those things. This has to do with XP, crafting, you know, whatever you can think of, I'm gonna be kind of touching on. So the first thing I wanna go over is the crafting menu, and you've got carrying capacity. Now one of the kind of cons of this game, and I, I do hope they kind of patch this and make it a little more user friendly, is they don't really tell you in this particular menu. You actually have to click on each available one to see what you need. And then when you actually get the materials, it doesn't tell you this can be upgraded. This, you know, I kind of wish it did. But anyway, you can see here Fishbone on the right there, the cost to upgrade these things. A lot of these I have already upgraded quite often, but Fox Skin. And what I'm getting at is what you need to do is I scan. So you tap your R3 button and scan everywhere you can for, for animals, whatever that may be. And even in, even fish, because you're gonna need their bones later. Let's see if we can find one. I'll probably have to go across the way. Uh, before we fight the animals, since these guys are right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I'm gonna go on this bridge here, because they really can't get me from here. Shoot every single animal you can find because there's really not a reason not to, for one, unless you have some kind of weird <laughs> objection to shooting mechanical animals, but make sure you're shooting all of these guys and the XP is gonna be fantastic. If you can do it in stealth mode, you're gonna get a little bit of a bonus. Uh, I'm not much of a stealth player. In fact, I, I really kind of hate playing those type of games, so. Let me see, I'm gonna use my... And you can see here, I can, whenever I wallop these guys, I can actually get a critical. And when I hit the critical, I actually get an additional 100 points of XP there as well. So let's go ahead. As you can see, I got close to probably about almost 1,000 XP just for those two kills right there. Now let's go back to the animal hunting. Let me see. Now we, I, that's another kind of thing I don't like. I don't feel like just because I have an earpiece on, I wouldn't be able to run very fast. <laughs> but hey, whatever. So these are another great thing. I'll go ahead and point out these, these watchers that are already dead. It's a great way to get a little bit of shards. As you can see, it's only one, but they kind of add up over time. Now foxes usually tend to be a lot more populated in these grassy areas. So here's a rabbit. Let's go ahead and do that. Now you can actually tag these guys and they make a lot easier to kill. And if you're ever in a bow mode like this and I don't want to actually shoot, let go of the L2 button first and you'll be fine. You don't have to actually use that arrow. Now the rabbit here, you're going to find whether it's a boar, a fox, you know, whatever it may be. There's three different types of loot. There's going to be white, green, and purple. White just gives you this meat. It's kind of worthless. It really doesn't do a whole lot. The green will usually give you bones, which is used for crafting. And then the blue is the actual skin of the animal. Now, why you can't get the skin off of every kill, I don't know. These are helpful. <laughs> it seems logical. Better, but... though. There's another dead watcher. You can get a lot from just scanning. I'll go ahead and say that. And you want to get a lot of the skins, like I said, because I wish it, early on the XP is going to be fantastic from this because it's not a whole lot. It's like 50 XP every once in a while, but the animals don't fight back. And then when you go into this crafting menu here, like I said, you can start upgrading and save as much as you can in the very beginning. The second thing I want to go over is the travel. So there's these fast travel packs that you get and you actually have to craft them later on. Or I mean, from the very beginning, but later on you can actually get what's called yeah, so under resources here, I have what's called the Golden Fast Travel Pack. I have another video that shows you exactly where to get that, uh, but I'll do a very, very quick guide on that one. Basically, I went to Lone Light here. It's actually in the very middle of the map here, and I was able to trade. You will need a fox skin as well as the shards to get that. So the other thing, you can kind of see these sites, and whenever you get that Golden Fast Travel Pack, you can start traveling to the campfires for free. So these here are what's called cauldrons, and whenever you go inside of those, you can actually learn to ride another animal. And those are very, very valuable, and it also leads to a trophy. The other thing that is really nice is these bandit camps. They're not really too difficult, and later on you meet a guy named Nil, 
and he will actually help you clear out the bandit camps because he hates bandits and really likes killing people. <laughs> and the XP you'll usually get between five and 7,000, at least that's how much I've gotten so far. So clear out the bandit camps as soon as you find them. The corruption areas are also really nice because they, the, the nice thing about this game, it's kind of, it's, it's got pros and cons of the leveled areas, but a lot of these areas are leveled. So this is probably maybe a level 15 corruption area. I'm a level 24 right now, so I could easily go through and, and take over that. That's another great area to get some XP. And like I said, any of these areas, especially with the striders, any of the watcher sites, any of these are great for XP. Just kill everything in the area, it doesn't matter. As soon as you reload a game from a campsite, they'll respawn anyway. So you can just kind of camp in an area and, and kind of do what you need to do to level up. Now these are also some really nice areas here. These are hunting areas and they give a little bit of XP. They're a little difficult. They're kind of some challenges to get the actual gold that you need. It's like a time type of thing. So these are another great thing. These are called long necks and it's another part of the trophy. And if you, you have to actually climb to a high ledge and jump on them from a ledge to get to them because they are so high. But once you actually override them, it opens up a huge area of the map. So it's a great, great way to one, know the lay of the area and you will get a little bit of XP for that as well. So, Merchants are going to be throughout here as well. Let me go ahead and show real quick the skill tree and what I have found to be the most useful. So concentration, I, I use it all the time. And so what I've actually done is I've had faster reloading. I've, I've upgraded that skill tree as much as it can go. The second one that is super valuable is this right here. It's called Tinker and it allows you to actually swap out your modification slots, which is absolutely amazing so here's my bow that i have right now it does I, I was able to upgrade the handling it's it's almost halfway to being maxed out i mean it's it's an amazing bow here and so what i can do is i can actually select and then i could actually swap out as you can see modifications so as i get newer better ones that do more things and it's really nice because later on so this one right here obviously the more things it has the better for me <laughs> And same thing with that. So that tinker slot's really, really valuable. Same thing with the actual outfits. Now the treasure boxes, let's go ahead and go to a merchant here. I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel. And as you can see with that golden fast travel pass, it doesn't cost me anything to do so. So here we are in an area where we can find a merchant. And it's anybody with this symbol above their head. But what you wanna do, and I, I didn't realize this, I was kinda, I wish the sell menu was a little more intuitive so i, I kind of wish what they would do is have like in most games are like sell all trash or sell all items that really don't have any value besides selling to merchants because some of these say selling for shards but you can also trade with merchants to buy you know whatever it may be some things require shards and something else as far as to buy but you want to go in here and there's some items that are only let me see if i actually have any because i just so this, for example, this animal's talisman, and I got that from a boar, actually, when I killed him, I got that tooth, and it has no valuables, so go ahead and sell that guy. All the other ones, you, you might wanna consider holding on to because they actually have some valuable as far as for trade, so don't sell these that have the trading for merchant, or the crafting items for that matter. <laughs> So you can go and buy and they, as you level up and as you go to newer areas, they're gonna have better bows. And as you can see here, so not only do I need metal shards, I also need sawtooth heart. So that's what I was saying, don't sell those type of things because you're gonna need them later. And you can get better bows, more modification slots, you know, really, really nice types of things. So I'm gonna need a sawtooth to get that one. <laughs> uh, same thing with these outfits here. And I've got a few of them already, but that's the same thing, you know, as you, level up some of these but always look for the effects here so this they don't this is another thing that kind of bothers me with the games they don't really have like a legend or like a key that tells you what the symbol means but this basically means fire resistant shock resistant freeze and corruption resistance so it just it kind of depends on your play style so don't just get something because they have a bunch of modification slots look at what it has to <laughs> actually help you so normally there's a free sample box with every merchant and you can use it one time 
after that they don't give it to you anymore but it usually has a couple shards you know something like that it the the ex explanation around it's kind of funny but it's like to get the merchants like hey this is what i offer here's a free sample box <laughs> I don't know, maybe customer loyalty, I don't know. <laughs> I never really do the shard gamble or any of these other things. I haven't really had a need for them yet. Mainly because I don't have enough shards to really be wasting <laughs> at this point. You can always buy back certain items if, I, if, if you sold them. So these are all the things that I have sold. The other thing that you want to kind of go to is these ancient sites here. An ancient vessel, there's usually an item in there that's usually worth... Uh, at least about 50 to 100 bucks. It could be an ancient cup, it could be an ancient watch, things that have no value, you, you simply sell them to a merchant. And lastly, I think this will be the last kind of tip that I can think of at least, is you wanna go, let me see if I can, f you wanna try to find these metal flowers because as you get a whole set of them, and let me see if I can find those. I think those were, yeah. So under special items here, these are the metal flowers that I was talking about. And as you can see, you can trade them in Meridian for a very valuable reward. And they're very, very easy to find. They actually are purple. Let's go ahead and try to find one of those actually real quick and I'll show you what that's about. So once again, we're in the area, we're gonna actually be finding the wild, the metal flower. But I did wanna say, like I was saying before, make sure you're killing all the wildlife, tag them, kill them. It's really easy XP. It's about the easiest XP you'll get <laughs> in the game. So let's go ahead and I'll mark that. So the metal flowers will be anywhere in this range and they can be a little difficult to spot. Uh, my best advice is use your little scanning tool here, your focus, and it will actually show you from a pretty far distance array actually what, where it is and, it, and you can actually end up tagging that and find it much easier. These are the metal flowers here. Pick them up, that's the Mark One. And as you collect, there's Mark 1, 2, and 3 that i found so far. And as you find the complete collection, they're worth quite a bit in Meridian. I hope this was kind of helpful. I hope this was a nice little guide to show you some good XP tips and some other kind of tips that I wish I knew, like I was saying. And thanks for watching.